All right, let's go ahead and visualize this data set. We have now train generator. So I write here train generator. And in this train generator, it will give you a lot of attribute. Like if you call here train generator class indices, you will be getting here all these numbers. So zero class belongs to the horses and one class, one class belongs to the human layer. Thereafter, you can use here train generator dot you, you you can write there the class mode if you write that we know that it's the binary class mode so you will be getting that as the binary class mode thereafter if you put it like this classes then you will be also getting here the classes as well so this classes belongs to the classes in your data train generator respective to each data points thereafter you can say here this train generator dot file name so i'm just going to put here uh, the first five classes here now if you see there in the first five classes we have all these horses there and in last we will be having all the humans there so this is about the train and for the same for for this test data generator you can have a same kind of the output for the test generator as well you can also find out here the total number of the samples available you can simply come here and you can type here train underscore generator moreover i'm trying to say here to you that it can it, it provide you so many you know it, it provides you so many attributes which you can access in the train data generator just to know that what are your data set attributes there so it says that the total number of samples are there 1027 that's what we had seen here as well all right let's go ahead and visualize these horses and humans data set so i'm gonna here write uh, and uh, horse and the human data basically i'm just gonna put here import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt and then import yeah that's all we need just plt there to plot the images let me tell you how we are gonna plot the image if you see this horse and the human data set in this these the horse and the human data set are shown with the grid there so these are actually the grid here in this grid what we are going to do you see this this all these grids are there so there are total one two three three number of rows and three number of columns and these grids are plotted with the help of subplots in the matplotlib so in the subplot if you say axis in the subplot if you say the figure number so this becomes figure number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Otherwise you can say here this figure is 3 cross 3 cross 1. Why so? Because 3 cross 3 says that there is 3 column 3 rows and then cross 1 says that out of those 3 cross out of these 3 cross 3 images this is the first image and then this is the second image like so. So like that we are going to use here those concept i'm going to first of all define here number of rows is 3 and then the number of columns is equal to 3 thereafter i say here the train path that the train path tra train path is horse or human forward slash train thereafter we have here uh, i'm just going to get the figure here all right so pig is equal to the plt dot gcf get current figure then in that i'm going to just write here fig dot set underscore size underscore inches so basically this is the way to set the figure your, your figure size in image in the matplotlib there are many other ways to set these figure size as well so this is one of those you have n calls multiplied by 4 and then you have here n rows multiplied by 4 
So what happens here, if you increase the number of columns, it will automatically increase here width. And if you increase the number of rows, it will automatically increase the height of your image. That's why I made it dynamic here. Let's go ahead and get the batch of the data. So I write here next batch equal to train underscore generator and then I write here next. Now there is a trick actually here. It's not the trick but uh, understanding. We had seen our data in train generator file name. We were seeing all these data in sequential order. Like there was the horses, but thereafter there would be humans in the last. But if we use here train generator dot next, it is going to shuffle the data. So basically these horse and humans will be coming all together. So it will be random shuffle there. So when we do this next batch equal to the train generator dot next, we will automatically get the mix of horse and human data. Thereafter, I'm just going to iterate over this next batch and these number of columns and number of rows. So basically I write here for i in range, I start it with the zero and then the number of rows multiplied by the number of columns. Why so? If number of rows and columns are three by three, the total number of images will be nine there. If it is four by four, then total number of images will be 16 there. I get here the PLT axis, I write here AX is equal to the PLT dot subplot and in that I write here number of rows and number of columns and then I write here I plus 1. That's what I was saying to you, if it is 3 by 3 image, I say here this I plus 1, I mean to say that it is 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. So I write here 3 cross 3 comma the number of index for these images. Now indexing in this doesn't start with the 0 that start with 1. So we have to add there plus 1 because when we do these, uh, uh, when we do these uh, range it starts with the 0. So that's why we need to put here plus 1 because i is 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1 there and when i is 1 then 1 plus 1 will be 2 there. So it will thereafter we are going to write here the plt dot i am so and in that i am just going to write this next batch we have got in the next batch total how many images are there if you see in the next batch so in the batch we have total 32 uh, 32 images because the batch size is 32 we have not run this one that is why we are not getting this anyway so this batch is two dimensional data there so the first of all we have to get here, we need to go inside this batch with the zero index and thereafter we need to refer the number of image which we want. So basically I am just uh, iterating over next batch where i will be anyway 3 into 3 so it goes to max to 9 there. So in that batch we will be getting the data from the 0 to 8th index. Alright, 0 to 8 index that means the total number of 9 images there. Once you get this, you can simply just run it. Now if you run this, I'll show you, it will take a while. Alright, you see there 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And now you see these images are randomly sampled. We are not able to see these images one by one. Alright, so these images are randomly sampled. And now if now you can visualize, you, you can see this next batch here properly. So this is your next batch data. So by referring that to the zero, so we were referring the batch of this data. And if we refer to one, so that will be there. If we refer to one, that will be here the class of that image. Let's go ahead and get the class of image and also we are going to hide these axis as well. So for that purpose, I can simply write here plt dot, plt dot, uh, I'm sorry, uh, I need to write here ax dot axis in that I'm just gonna write here off. Alright so we saw here the image thereafter we are gonna get here the class name is equal to next batch. So as I told you that in the batch the first first value belongs to the image data the next value belongs to the next value belongs to the label. 
now in that label we need to get the index okay so with this i we get here the class name thereafter do remember this is not actually the class name this is actually the index all right so this is class idx actually this is not name anyway thereafter i write here the plt dot title and then i write here class names and in that i'm gonna just write this class index after doing all these class index and these we are just gonna run it now if i run it okay this throws an error because it says that this do not have attribute there all right let me see that which attribute is missing here okay this one need to be here int all right if i do that as the integer even after oh sorry this one need to be here title actually i'm sorry so the plt dot title all right so it says that this is horse human human horse 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 human horse human so that's how you can visualize your data if you increase it to let's say the five by five or number of rows keep it three there you can again see it in dynamically there would not be on any overlap there in last just you can write here the plt dot so now you can see that there are three rows and there are five columns here all right so these images seem same but these are not same there is a little minor difference uh, between these images there is a shift in these two image there all right if you see there uh, and you can clearly see these two images there is a little shift of this image to at this side because there is uh, th this image is cutting here at this particular side there all right so this part we have already discussed that if we see these image we don't see many uh, you know the much of the variation in these images so if variation is not much then there is the probability that your model might overfit so in coming like in coming lectures we are going to make a cnn model and then we will see that how much accuracy we can achieve over this data set all right i'll see you then